Hi, I'm Terry. Please like and subscribe to my uh, channel. I'd really appreciate it. Now, this is something interesting. I've seen this online for a while. I finally got my hands on one. So it's the Vessel Cordless Screwdriver. It's made in Japan. It's, it's quite nice in, in the hand, and it goes a little switch for forwards and for backwards. Can change your bits to whatever you got. It's got a nice light on it. It is rechargeable. So it's a little USB rechargeable. In theory, it's good for 60 minutes. I haven't uh, used it that much yet. This is basically just got it. You can see the difference in size between my Milwaukee cordless screwdriver compared to the vessel. We know this is great. It's just heavy, it's bulky. Let's see how this is going. So this is the, probably the best cordless screwdriver I've ever seen. So uh, that's why I had to get my hands on it. It's under $100. Now this one's the high speed and I have the other one coming so we can do a comparison between the two. Let's just see how it does. It's just something simple. That's the new quick set SC1. And let's just see how, how it works. Oh, this is the high speed one, so that's definitely good. Let's see how it takes out the deadbolt parts. Aha. Uh -huh. Doesn't have the torque, so the good thing is we can undo it by hand, but that doesn't really have. Now again, this is in in metal. Or not this is in wood. But it, uh, it doesn't have the torque, so we get it. Well, at least we can start it by hand. I wonder if the, uh, the low speed one would have more torques. So let me just see what it's like putting things back together again. Now this is into wood, and it's quite hard wood. So I'd have to do it, so at least I can do it by hand. Nah. So as one of my worries is it's not going to have the torque. But let's see how it... Uh, Wow. Here's the vessel. It just doesn't, oh look at that. Doesn't, doesn't have. little red light comes on when it when I'm pushing it so I can use it as a manual screwdriver let's see will I put it back in I won't even go put it back in There's my Milwaukee I like the idea, uh, maybe for locksmithing, I don't know yet. I'll see, I'm gonna try it out on the road the next couple of weeks, see how it does. But right here you can see it uh, just doesn't have the torque. It could be because this is the high speed version. Uh, I've got the other one uh, coming any day now. So we'll see if that does better, but it just doesn't have the torque. Uh, it's really fast when, if something's loose. The bottom line is if you can't torque, if you can't, if the screwdriver, the cordless won't undo it, you at least use this machine, use the screwdriver manually. So it does manually, uh, the high, once you get it started at the high speed. I don't know yet. Uh, the problem is this Milwaukee is good for, for, you know, I can put the three inch screws into the door frame with my Milwaukee. I don't think the vessel, I know just from this, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna give it a try this next couple of weeks. 
Uh, the low speed one may have way more torque, I don't know. Uh, this isn't quite going to do it for every day, but maybe for putting in Kia knobs. Uh, I don't know, it kind of failed a little bit on the deadbolt, that's for sure. So let's see what happens. Uh, and it also failed on the strike. So uh, uh, the jury's out for the moment. It's a cool concept. It's uh, under $100. Uh, the technology is, is getting there. It just doesn't have the torque. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.